Oops. Definitely need a lot of clearance. You can see the tire tracks I left last time. I'm trying to remember how I did this last time. I hooked the right. <laughs> Yikes. That made me nervous. <laughs> <laughs>
think we're here. I just don't know where the exact high point is. Right, it's time to get down. We want to take our time and not have to rush. Right now we're doing pretty fair on time. It took a little longer to get up here than we than I anticipated, but we made it. Now we're now we're going back. All right, so the the last time I tried this mountain, uh, I got chased down by a Barbary sheep. And I think that is like a herd of them over there on the same mountain. So yeah, they're moving. I see them moving. So we're gonna we're going down this way anyways. But now like I just don't want to get their attention. You don't like it. <laughs> My mom would be very upset right now. We're off the rocks, and now we're entering the grassy, gradual slope, which is nice. This will expedite part of it, the descent. And then there's another section, kind of not as bad as what was behind us, and, and then flat terrain. We're getting there. That's pretty. All right, that's it. Made it to the vehicle. There's still light in the sky, which is jolly good. Uh, one big takeaway from this mountain, don't underestimate it. Uh, last time, the route I went up was a little easier. This way was kind of a pain in the butt, uh, but I also didn't have to climb that last part. So uh, I did a little more work this time either way. But yep, hope you guys uh, enjoyed that and 
That's uh, two down. I got three more of these high points in this particular mountain range to go before I move on from them. And uh, until the next one, you guys. Later. All right, this is my first attempt, and I'm I'm calling it. Well, I called it about 500 feet ago. So I encountered an ibex, and uh, he made no effort to avoid me. In fact, he did the exact opposite. He made sure that I could see him. He's only 100 feet away from me. He looked directly at me, and I took that as a kind of a divine sign to hey, do this another day. Turn around. So I did. And then I noticed it started following me for a little bit. I think it stopped because it saw that I, I could see it. It's right over there. Okay. He's, he's a good distance now, but uh, he got pretty close at, at one point. And it was exhilarating. I'm going to research on some research on Ibex now.